Hello there. Today we're back out in the woods and I'm just I'm to two things in one today again. I'm on Betsy's daily walk, morning walk, and yesterday I saw a few beautiful little scenes lit up with the early morning sun, but they are a distance, so I've bought out 70 to 200 and I'll show you how I use a long lens for capturing landscapes. Keep watching. Today we are back over the beautiful Abley Valley. Um, as I say, I'm on a morning walk with Betsy, but there are, I don't know if you can see it over here, beautiful scene over there. You've got little tiny sapling silver birch with bright yellow leaves dappled against the dark brown of the bracken. Looks absolutely beautiful, it does. I've come out early as well before the sun comes up and lights these trees up because yesterday I was about half an hour later than this and the sun was just dropping down onto these trees and it looked so pretty so I thought no rain forecast this morning which is a blessing so I thought I'm going to come out and let's see if we can catch something if you look now, the sun is just touching the top of the trees. I don't know if you can pick it up on the GoPro. Um, but it does look beautiful. There's a little area, there's probably three shots in here that I want. So I'm not going to take many photos today because you are limited with a telephoto lens. Everything needs to be at distance for you. So I'm not going to be miles away from my subject so I don't need a 400mm through a 400mm so I have just bought my 70 to 200 and yeah join me in a minute and we'll see if we can get something it's looking beautiful already so my first shot is literally on the bank over there you're not going to pick it up on this I don't think but there are a row of silver birch with orange leaves around them the sun is just lighting up the top of the trees which will come down shortly onto the rest um, there's a beautiful little herd of I don't know what kind of sheep they are they've got the fancy horns and the dark brown if you know what they have drop me a comment below I'll try and take a photo in a minute there is an Alsatian down here which is probably going to spook them um, but yeah all along here this is just where I want to be today mainly just getting these photographs across here looks stunning I'll show you the back of the camera, the shot I'm taking now. So for this shot, I am literally, let's turn the camera back on. I am literally just lining up and trying to balance out the silver birch. Try not to get like a clump there and then nothing else on the one side. It just looks top heavy on the, on the left hand side. Balance it all out. You can just see the light coming now on the top of the trees. It looks beautiful, they've got the dark bracken at the bottom, you've got the white and the silver birch, the yellow is the oranges, and the brightness in the top of the trees. Looks fantastic. The settings for this, I'm shooting ISO 100, I'm one stop underexposed because the light is coming through now. And that's giving me a sixth of a second at f11. I'm shooting at around 150mm. It looks beautiful, it does. So I've just took another shot, I haven't moved the tripod, but I've just turned the camera and there are a couple little bits of this yellow that I was mentioning earlier against the dark bracken. From now, the sun is lighting up all along the, the ridge line now. It looks absolutely incredible. So I'm going to try and get a shot now and try and catch the, 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 the gate down here, probably as a vertical this, and the sun just catching the trees in the distance there. Looks beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, yep, yeah, I'll get set up and I'll talk you through what I'm doing. For this shot, I'm literally going to focus on the gate 
which is there. I'll just move the focal point out of the way. If I zoom in, <coughs> let's try it again. If we zoom in, you can see the gate. And I am going to use this as a, as a focal point. Everything else will be in focus. There is no need to focus stack um, with these images today because the plane of focus is all going to be on the gate and on the trees. Beautiful scene though. Um, it is starting to get a little bit too bright at the top there, so I might turn my composition back round again shortly. But again, settings for this exactly the same ISO 100. I'm two thirds of a stop underexposed at f11 and looks beautiful. I've got a 10 second timer on because I haven't got the tripod extended, the centre column. So, yeah, it turns out any good. Here's a shot. Let's see, come on. So, what did you think of that shot? Looks beautiful. The um, I think the better one is going to be the one facing over that way with the sun when it was just coming onto the top of the trees. It looks beautiful that did with the silver birch. You got the dark bracken, you got the white silver birch, and you got the sun just dropping down, lighting the orange and the yellows up. It looks stunning. It does absolutely stunning. I'm going to have a walk up the valley now because Betty's going to have a walk and. There's a couple of little spots up there that I want to check out but mainly it may just be that these couple of shots I've just took now may just be the only images I take today um, I don't think they will be because there are just the colour is amazing and the sun's just lighting it up early morning so I'm sure there are going to be a couple more photos on here we we'll carry on now up the valley and let's see what we can catch up here. Hopefully it's something. I think we will. Looks beautiful everywhere. It's a bit awkward this time of year because the sun comes up and just as it touches the top of the trees you tend to wait for it just to come down into the trees. By the time you get one shot and you move on to the next the sun is lighting everything up so you do need to pick your shots carefully and especially with like early morning orange light because you want the orange light to light the trees up even more orange just to boost the saturation so do your planning and figure out a specific shot that you want make sure you get that one and then anything else after is a bonus which is exactly what i've done today with that first shot which i'll save until the end of the video for you looks beautiful but yeah, I'm, uh, I've lost Betsy, has gone. So I'm going to try and find my dog and I'll catch her up the top here. Betsy, another shot you may recognise from a couple of videos back. Um, this little scene here, but today again I'm using it with the 200mm lens. Um, I'm zoomed in to about 125 mil and it is literally just tightening up on the path um, there's no big foregrounds of this there's no focus stacking it is literally just focused on the silver birch with the path leading off to the left some beautiful colour in the little oak to the right hand left hand side of the scene I get getting my left and right mixed up all the time um, it looks beautifully too. I'm just waiting to see if we can get a little bit of sun to light the, the yellows up and the oranges. There's a couple of little hot spots on the silver birch where it is trying to come through. Um, it looks beautiful again. Again, I'll, same settings, F11. Um, I'm one stop underexposed just to darken the scene a little bit and then I'll just dodge and burn the silver birch just to bring them out and make them pop. Um, looks beautiful. I'll drop me some for you right now as well. Beautiful it is. I'm 
gonna have a little walk up for there. Um, I do love using a telephoto lens for landscape photography. Um, hang on, I got an itch. You do get a different perspective on what you normally see, um, especially when you start sort of, you know, 150mm, 200mm, if you've got a 400mm, put that on. Um, it all looks beautiful. There's some fantastic light this morning. The sky, as you can see, is just clear, it's just bright blue. So I'm going to try and eliminate the sky out of all the shots if I can. There may be a little bit, which is unavoidable on some images. But uh, it looks absolutely fantastic. A lot of the um, the beach and the, the birch are all, they're almost finished now. The oaks are green and yellows and oranges still. The bracken being wet looks beautiful. It's bright burnt orange. Looks fantastic, it does. Um, I'm just scanning around. See, the thing to do as well with a, a longer lens, longer focal length, you need to train your eyes to look farther into the scene and pick out just little vignettes that uh, just stand out to you. It may just be a lone tree on an hill, you know, you can either silhouette it or zoom in completely and get it properly. It looks, they all look fantastic. The sun is just burning the moisture off now and it's just forming a little bit of mist. It does look beautiful. I'm going to carry on. Betsy's getting bored, so it's times like this when she runs off. So I'm going to carry on, give her a good run now and join me for the next image. So now the sun is coming up above the trees, uh, we are getting massive shadows, there's a lot of black and the oil lights are burning, so I'm going to have a steady walk back towards the car and see if we can find something, just a last little shot to take, maybe a few little light rays coming through, um, the, the dampness is burning off now and forming a little thin layer of mist. So we might just get a couple of little light rays. I'm gonna carry on walking back now towards the car and yeah, let's see if we can find something else. I'm sure there's gonna be a shot here. Well, I think that's it for today. I'm, uh, I'm gonna head back now and grab a cup of tea. The cafe isn't open, as Steve and Wendy are on holiday in the Caribbean, I think it is. I uh, hope you're having a good time. Missing me cups of tea in the morning. But, I suppose your enjoyment must come first. So yeah, Betsy's just seen someone else you know. Come on Betsy. Yeah, please as always like and subscribe. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, I hope you like the content on the channel and please subscribe. It helps keep Betsy and Biscuits and keeps her happy. So it doesn't stop her running off, but it keeps her happy. I'll put all the photos on now for you. Um, please like, subscribe, drop me a comment below. There are links below in the description as well to all the gear that I use, uh, namely the 5D Mark IV that I'm using, the Canon the 70 to 200 f 2.8 that I've got on today they're all down in the description please check them out um, until next time use the photos and take it easy <laughs>